So do I just trap the queen by taking the pawn? <laughs> I think that's the answer. Um, anything else you could do? I think I'm just going to take that. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the pawn with the pawn, I guess. I think that's the f that's all I have to do. Just take the pawn with the pawn, and then. I mean, if he takes here, takes here. I mean, take here. Oh, wait a second here. Wait a second, wait a second. All right. So the problem is, after pawn takes, queen to b2. Mm. Hmm. Queen to B two. Queen to B two. Rook to B one. Then rook takes B one. Yeah, I can't do rook takes B one because rook takes E one. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Definitely not easy. It's not going to be trapping the queen. Um. How many pawns do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Um. Hmm. Do we take take and then we play? No, oh, I was thinking like after queen b2, knight to um, d3, and after take, nope, that's not it. Um, hmm. So I feel like you have to you have to attack the queen, but what happens after is the question. Um, hmm. Queen to b two. Knight to a four, knight to a four, pawn to a four, and we're threatening. Maybe we have a pass pawn, I guess. Um, something to threaten the queen. Hmm. He always has that queen b2 move, which is it queen c3? No, because he can just take the pawn. Actually, even better is just push the pawn. Um. Hmm. I feel like the first move has to be pawn a takes b3. So. I think I'm just going to go for it. A takes B3. Okay, now what? We have to get this problem right because... Well now, what if Knight D3? If Knight D3... Problem is I can't play Rook C to B1 because then... Um, rook takes A1. And if the Rook takes A1, the Queen can... So it's trapped, but... Um, hmm. And then knight a4, knight takes a4. Um, hmm. 
Okay. Knight a4. Uh, knight takes a4. B takes a4. That's a pass pawn, I guess. Um, if rook a to if rook c to b1, then rook takes a1. And then after rook takes a1, I think black is fine. Same thing. No, we can't take the queen after rook c to b1 because of rook takes e1. Checkmate. Back rank. Um, let's see. If knight... Um, if knight to d3 threatens the queen, he takes our pawn on b3, and then rook to b1, but then knight to queen takes e d3, and then rook takes b6, doesn't work, does not work, huh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So knight d3 doesn't work. Um, rook cb1, but then rook takes a1. So to give her the problem, we have to play rook. Hmm. Rook C to Rook A to B one, then Queen A three though. So Hmm. Something about trapping the queen or something. Hmm. 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 Um. I don't like the knight d3 move, but then again, after rook b1, I'm trying to find the follow-up. After rook to b1, rook a to b1, okay, so rook c to b1 is bad because of um, rook a takes rook a, yeah, rook, the rook on a8 takes on a1, and so that's just trading. Which is probably wrong. Something about trapping this queen. <laughs> um, do we play knight four, and after knight takes a four, then we play pawn takes a four. Hmm. So rook a to b one is the only answer. But then what if queen to c a three or queen to a two even? Then what? Hmm. Huh. Tricky, tricky. Let's see. Hmm. Do we attack the knight or something? Um, no, our rook is under fire. And I don't want to take... Um, I don't want to take that... Uh, I don't want to do like... 
queen to a3 or something. Um, hmm. So rook b1, queen a3, rook b1, a3. Something else we're missing here. Are we just going to play queen to d1? Quiet move, threatening. Um, uh, or not? Ugh. I was thinking. Well, wait a second. Oh my goodness, that is so sneaky. Maybe not. No, it doesn't work because the queen to go back to g6. So the idea I had was something like knight d3, queen take the pawn, and then rook b1, and then knight takes, uh, queen takes our knight, and then queen takes on or that knight on b6, and then threatening something. That doesn't win anything. So, um,. Hmm. Man, I want to get this problem right. I really want to get this problem right. Knight to a4, knight takes a4, pawn takes a4. Um. Hmm. All right, knight d3, trapping the queen. Queen takes b3. Then what? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy, jeez. I'm trying to figure this out. I really want to get this problem right after. Something about trapping the queen, but... Oh boy. I... I... Hmm, what is the next move here? Knight to d3? Hmm... Mm. Boy, oh boy, I don't want I don't want to like lose this or like miss this problem. Jeez. Um uh, three Take Okay, B one first. Um, hmm. I don't. Want, I hope it's on some quiet move like Queen D one, protecting the pawn, and then we can play like. Probably it is. It, it looks nice. Right? Because we're threatening to play um, knight d3, right? So queen d1 maybe is a move. Uh, 
and then after rook takes a1, rook takes a1, uh, it's black to move. Um, and we could play knight d3, or maybe we could play knight e4. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, let's see here. I went, oh man, I know I've gone to like 16 minutes on this problem. Um, but I really want to get this right here. Um, Um, hmm. Man. I'm going to feel so good if I get this right, and then I'm going to feel so bad if I get this wrong, since I've been thinking about it. Um, the queen is trapped. So how do I attack the trap piece? Oh boy, 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 boy. Um, how do I win this trap piece? Um, knight e4, just trap the knight, and that's nothing. Knight d3, um, Knight d3, knight, queen takes that pawn on b3, and then we're down another pawn. And then after rook a b1, take, take, take on d3, take on b6. Um, but after queen takes c3, he can always go to g3 or something like that. Um, not an easy problem. I hope, I hope it's not an easy problem. Um... It was an easy problem now, like miss this one little move. I I've been playing around with Queen D one in my mind. Um Hmm. It's not like some pawn move. <laughs> we know that for sure, at least. Um And it's not I hope it's not it's I hope it's not like B four pawn move. <laughs> So we're threatening to like win the night. Uh, oh, that'd be very, very uh, sick if it was like something like b4 pawn move to protect, uh, to trap the queen even more, I guess, and then we can play like rook b1 or something. Um, so it's not that either. Um. Mm, 
Queen C3? No. That doesn't seem right either. Uh... Hmm. Okay, it's the second move I need to worry about. I think I got it. Gosh, that, that is nice. Oh. Whew. All right. So the possible moves are like, well, 93 to trap the queen. So then, um, after like the queen takes on b3 instead of moving rook to a to b1 you move you attack the queen one more time by playing um knight to c5 there we go and after knight to c5 queen has to go back to either, either b2 or b5 or else it's going to risk itself from capturing I think right let's see knight d3 queen takes c3 and then instead of rook ab1 knight c5 attacking the queen and then if rook b2 then rook a to b1 attacking the queen one more time and attack winning the knight on b6 um and if knight to okay, so if after knight to d3, let's see here. Knight okay, so knight to d3, queen takes b3, rook a to b1. No, 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 no. Knight c5, and then rook b5, and then rook a to b1, and then where and then a queen has to go to a5. Because it can't go to a6 because of the knight on c5. And can't go to a4 because I can take it with the knight. So after that move... Okay, so knight d3, queen takes pawn, knight c5. Um, knight c5... Queen goes to either b2 or b5. If queen b2, then rook to a b1. If queen to b5, then rook a to b1. And queen a5, queen takes a5, rook takes a5, rook takes b6. Up a knight. So, knight d3, final answer. Takes knight c5, there. Rook a b1, there. Take the queen, give a defender, and then win the knights. And it's correct, but okay, all right, so that's 1800 problem. That's